everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have for you a get ready with me using new products so these are all first impressions i did haul a lot of this stuff in my haul last week so if you guys have not checked that out i will link it down below so you guys can check it out and yeah i did create this look using all of the products that i have recently picked up so if you're interested to see how i created this look and what i used on my face just keep on watching i do want to mention that i did start off with like a bright my lighting was kind of it looked fine but then it, I feel like I need to play with it just because I feel like it turns like really warm as I'm filming my video so I did adjust my settings hopefully it looks okay right now if you'd like to see how I created this look just keep on watching the eyes today and I did have quite a bit of new eye palettes but of course can't really use all of these eye palettes probably could but I don't really want to use one shade of each one but I did pick up the Soph X the Makeup Revolution Neutrals palette I did have this new elf matte for matte palette and then also the Sassy Sienna's palette by Dose of Colors so I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Sassy Sienna's and also the elf matte for matte palette and the other ones I guess I'll just be saving for a different video I did also prime my eyelids already I just used the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer I have this in my project pan if you haven't checked that out I'll link it down below but um why not help myself if I have to use it up and just use this I'm gonna be taking the elf matte for matte palette to set my eyeshadow primer um, I thought Sassy Sienna's would have a light shade but it actually doesn't so I'm just going to be taking the lightest two shades in here and just mixing them together and just setting my eyeshadow primer there is some kickback on this palette but it was really affordable usually it's like ten dollars regular price and i did pick this one up at uh, marshall's for 3.99 i think i'm gonna be taking a fluffy brush here and here is the dose of colors palette hmm, i think i'm going to take this shade right here and apply it in my crease I didn't dip my brush in it a lot and it's quite pigmented which is nice. I'm like really dipping my brush twice in this and just applying it to the eyes. It seems pretty pigmented and it doesn't seem like you need a lot of product to get um, the transfer, the color transfer onto the lids. It's really pretty pigmented. There is some kickback. It's, do you guys tell right there? Nothing too crazy but there is kickback when you uh, dip your brush into the shadow. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, the second darkest shade with a smaller defining brush. This is the Coastal Scents Classic Blending Brush and there is quite a bit of kickback on that one. And again, applying it in my crease. Dang, these shadows are really pigmented, they're really nice. This is my first time having a Dose of Colors palette. It's really pigmented, definitely really nice. So I'm going to go back into my e.l.f. palette, again with the light two shades here, and just applying it up here on my brow bone just to smooth out any harsh lines, and also kind of highlight the brow bone as well. Going back with my Dose of Colors palette, I'm going to take the darkest shade in here just to deepen up my outer corners. So far there is a little kickback on all of these shades here, so definitely have a very light hand when using these to apply them to your eyes. Uh, I'm going to be taking a flat shader brush and taking this middle shade right here. And I'm going to be applying that onto my eyelids and yeah, definitely kick back. I'm pretty glad that I decided to do my eyes first just in case because I don't really want all this shadow to be chilling on top of my foundation and concealer so I'm just using all the product that I tapped back into the shadow and what we're going to be doing is I do have a glitter eyeshadow that I picked up from Wet n Wild. I didn't include this in my makeup haul the other day, which I really should have because I picked up this and then I had also picked up the matte finishing uh, setting spray. 
So I didn't include them in my haul. I did pick these up. So I'm going to just go ahead and apply this. I'm going to kind of swirl it in there because sometimes they don't have very much on the wand. So I'm just going to be applying this on my eyelids. So far, so pigmented. It's really pretty. I don't know if I mentioned what this was. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Cashmere Love. And this is what it looks like. It's really beautiful, like, bronzy glitter shade. So I'm just going to go back into my Dose of Colors palette with my fluffy brush and kind of blend out any harsh lines where it's, like, connecting together so it's not, like, a harsh glitter line on here. So I just reapplied some up here and this has like silver and gold glitter in it. It looks really pretty because I just applied some up here and it looked silver. But now that it's dried like over here, it looks like a bronzy silver with gold glitter. It's really beautiful. And I'm trying to open this liner up. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> so this is the Ulta Beauty Classic Felt Tip Liner. And I'm just going to... Uh, I think I want to create a wing liner today. So it looks pretty dark. It wasn't really hard to create a wing liner. I love felt tip liners just because it's, I feel like it's easier to create a wing liner with a felt tip just because you can really get that precise sharp line. I'll go ahead and do this other one off of camera and we'll be right back. So I'm going to be applying my mascara. I have never tried this mascara and I've heard really good things about it. I actually got this mascara in my boxy charm a few months ago. It's the Tart Tartiest um, Mascara. There's like quite a bit of mascara on the wand. It says might not have a I think my stopper's in here actually. Let me close it. There's like so much mascara. I think my stoppers. I don't know if my stopper is stuck up in here because there's like a lot of mascara on the wand. No, it feels like there's a stopper right there, but there's just way a lot of product on this brush. Look, can you guys tell the tip? Look how full of mascara it is. Is this why we got it sent? Let me take some off and apply some. I'm not the biggest fan of plastic wands. I like brush tips better, but this mascara looks like it's doing a pretty good job. I don't really um, gear towards high-end mascaras either. I feel like liners and mascaras like at the drugstore is perfectly fine. I don't need a $20, $25 mascara to do the same thing that a $5 mascara from the drugstore can do. So I do like the effect it's giving my lashes. So I guess this so far so good. The only thing is that it has all this like extra... I was able to do both of my eyes with just not even re-dipping in here because of so much mascara that's in on the wand. So I do like the formula. I do like that clumpy look too. So it's okay. And for lashes, I ordered two lashes from Lily Lashes from Hot Look because they were on sale. They were only like $10. And usually they retail for, um, I think, $25 each. So I picked up the Miami Lashes. And this is what those look like. I just got these in yesterday. And then I also did pick up the Mykonos lashes. But it's more of a um, dramatic style. But both of these lashes have been really popular for Lily Lashes. And then I also did get these from just eBay. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use these because they're really like fluffy and long. I'm going to try these and go from there. So I'll be right back. So these lashes are very beautiful these ones right here I got them off of eBay and they're just like long and fluttery they look like the expensive lashes that you pay like 30 bucks for and I think I only paid like three or four dollars for a five pack definitely check it out I, I just put in like wispy flary lashes and really really easy to apply the band is really thin also so for primer I'm gonna be taking the one that's in here, the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. So this is supposed to smooth, and it's also supposed to perfect my pores. I think I'm going to use a pump and a half, and this is what it looks like. It's just like a really thick primer. Oh yeah, definitely. So I'm going to apply it all on my face. 
I tend to have like huge pores on my nose and right here as well. It feels a little greasy on my head. Maybe I, on my face, maybe I need like less of it. For foundation, I did pick up the LA Girl Pro Matte High HD Longwear Matte Foundation. And I do have this Vitalist Healthy Elixir. This one's too light for me and this is like perfect match. Um, I'm just going to mix both of them, I think. So, what I'm going to do is just do one pump on the back of my hand. I should do it on my finger, actually. And I'm just going to be applying it onto the face. And then I'm just going to kind of use a wand and apply it onto the face. This one's more of a natural finish. So, I'm just mixing away. <laughs> So I'm going to use on um, half of my face, I'm going to use this foundation brush that I re um, got. And I did wash it in all. So let's see. It looks like it's blending out really well. This actual color combination, the finish actually is really beautiful on the skin. This one alone is just beautiful, so mixing both of them, I actually just did it to be able to <clears throat> get a better color match. But both of them together is really pretty. What I'm going to do is just take my beauty sponge and just make sure everything is blended out. So I just looked back on my footage and my me applying my foundation was so bright. So I just lowered the lighting that goes through the lens to see because lately I've been feeling that my videos are too bright and like too warm. Hopefully this is better. If it looks, I'm looking at my computer where I could see back and it looks like it's more of a perfect match. Okay, so let's continue on. Let's do my brows because I look a little crazy without my brows. So I'm just gonna be taking the Winky Lux uh, brow pencil that we got from our BoxyCharm. I'm using a lot of BoxyCharm stuff, I guess. And I'm just gonna comb through my brows and just fill them in real quickly. I have used this product before, it's not super new. And it's pretty nice. Um, it's not too waxy or too dry. I've been enjoying it so far, so good. No issues with this brush at all. Brow pencil, not brush. <laughs> so I do find that this brow pencil gives me more like of a natural brow, which I like natural brows. This little hair right here keeps coming like chick. I need to put some hairspray or cut it off because why do I need a hair like coming this way? <laughs> So let's do concealer. Ugh, I keep forgetting I need to open all these products. Hopefully my lighting's a little better and it's not too dark. I just felt like it was washing me out a lot. Lighting is just crazy. It's like really hard to really get the perfect lighting. And then at night and in the morning, like when you film at night and then when you film in the mornings or during the day, it's like different. You need to change like your settings and stuff. Really sucks. So I'm gonna be taking two concealers. The first one is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. And then I'm also gonna be taking this Ulta Beauty um, Color Correcting Liquid Concealer in the shade Peach. And this one is in C6. So I'm gonna just do it on one eye to see if I can tell a difference for color correcting because I do have like dark circles. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do it on one of my eyes just to see if this does anything, which it probably will, but you never know. So I'm just going to apply it over here, just a little bit. I've never really color corrected. I always just try to use like a full coverage concealer. This is like really pigmented to do. So now what I'm going to do is apply the Makeup Revolution one. This one's again in the shade C6. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just going to apply it. I think the color is actually really nice for me. I'm going to apply it everywhere to highlight my face. What I like to do is blending out with a brush just because I like to have the most coverage possible. It's blending out really easily, no issues. It looks good on the skin as well. I did see some reviews on this concealer and they were comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape and they did say that they felt like they needed more uh, coverage or apply more to get more coverage and I could still kind of see darkness right here 
So let's see on this side since I applied some corrector. Yeah, I definitely feel like I got more coverage with applying a corrector. Still kind of see some darkness, but not as much as I see it on this side. So I think I'm going to just apply a little bit right here and then apply more of the concealer on top of it and blend it out. And I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I like to blend out like anything that's on my nose just so it's not like a harsh line and just around my concealer also. So I do see that it's kind of like full coverage. Not full coverage, like it's thick. I don't know, I guess you have to really test out a product with your first impressions. Like right now I don't really like the concealer because I feel like it didn't really cover my dark circles like alone so definitely gonna play with it and um <clears throat> see so I'm gonna take this pro fusion glitter and glam contour kit I did pick this up at Marshalls and I'm just gonna use the ivory shade right here to set my under eye area I've heard really good things about this by Casey Holmes here on YouTube really love her videos so I'm just setting it I did see that my um, under eye looked cakey before I, I set it, and then it was starting to crease also. So it is a little heavy. It just looked heavy. This powder smoothed the um, concealer. I don't feel like it did much on brightening my under eye area. I feel like it looks dark. But I'm just going to do some excess on my nose and then kind of on my forehead also. I feel like my foundation is pretty much set. My skin looks like smooth. I don't know if it was a primer or what, but I already knew the foundation, the LA Girl really like smooths and kind of blurs your skin. My skin looks really nice. I really like how it looks. So now what I'm gonna be doing is, let's see, I think I'm gonna take this shade down here to contour my face. Contour and bronze, I should say, because I don't really just contour. I kind of just bronze up my face usually. And I also kind of apply some on my nose to slim it up a little bit. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Blush Kit in the shade Radiant. Um, I'm going to take, I think, a mixture of both of these shades on the bottom. Whoa, there's a lot on my brush. These are very pigmented, so go light-handed because <laughs> I didn't tap off any of the color on my hand down here, so it's like applied a lot <laughs> on this one. For highlight, I'm going to go back into this Profusion palette, and I'm going to take the gold shade up here. I heard it's like really blinding. It's pretty blinding. It's pretty. It's not as blinding as I thought it was going to be, but it's nice. So since the face is done, we're going to go back to the eyes to finish them off. My hair, this little hair right here, I'm tempted to just... <laughs> so I'm going to be taking this Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in the shade 25L. It's just a dark brown shade. I did pick this up at Marshall's of like about a month or so ago. It was in a pack of four and I thought they were minis and it was also on sale for $6 and they were actually full size eyeliners. I got this brown one, a black one, a pearl color and an olive color also. Yeah, it was definitely a great buy. These retail for like $20 each, so six bucks for this was amazing deal. So now I'm gonna deepen um, my, I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line, taking this palette right here, and I'm going to take this darker shade just to deepen up the outer corners here. And I'm just going to be applying this like halfway. I'm not gonna go all the way in with it. And then I'm going to take a smaller defining brush. I'm going to take the next shade that's right here and just smoke out any the lower part of it. And then I'm just going to finish off the eyes with some mascara. For my lips, I'm going to be taking this Give Me Glow Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Beach. 
it just looks like a beautiful brown toned shade. And then lastly, I'm going to set my face with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finishing Spray. So... This sprays a lot at a time. <laughs> Definitely wets your face. So a little bit, like a few sprays, will go a very long way. <laughs> So my final thoughts, the eyeshadow palettes both are great. This one in particular is beautiful. It looks really beautiful on the eyes. The liner worked really well. The lashes are bomb. Definitely would recommend those. What else did I apply? The mascara was good. Also, the only thing I didn't like was that it just felt like there was too much mascara on the wand. The foundation I knew I loved. I have tried out both of the foundations. Using the LA Girl, the Pro Matte, that one alone is beautiful on the skin. I just wanted to mix it with a foundation that was my color just because the LA Girl in the shade Natural is not my skin tone. It's kind of light on me. So mixing both of them actually on the skin it looks really beautiful your skin looks airbrushed um alone with the justy matte foundation the la girl my skin looked really beautiful so i'm not sure how much um this primer did on my skin but um the only thing i didn't like about that it did feel a little greasy on my skin so i'll have to keep using this and update you guys on what i think about it um, what else did I use? The blush kit is nice. It's really pigmented, so definitely be careful if you pick that up. The concealer, I still need to test it out a little more right now. It doesn't look crazy. I feel like it looks pretty nicely with one application. It just didn't have the coverage that I love. But when I did apply this one on this side, I felt like I had more kind of coverage. Um, than just alone, so I'll test, keep testing those out. This Pro Fusion uh, powder, the contour and um, under eye setting. I did like the contour, the under eye setting. I didn't feel like it really brightened my under eyes or anything like that. First impressions, it's nice. It's not like I love it or anything for first impressions, but it is nice. And lastly, I think this liquid lipstick, I have used it before, but it's been months since I've used it. This formula is really nice as well. Um, this brand actually does like dupe shades from like high-end um, brands. So if you are interested in picking up a shade, um, from like Anastasia. I think they dupe a lot of Anastasia liquid lipsticks the give me glow cosmetics um, I'm not sure what this one's supposed to be a dupe for. Yeah, this one is nice and comfortable on the lips Oh the makeup the makeup setting spray gives a very psh, Mist yeah, it gives a very like psh, mist. So definitely be careful when you seeing this you probably only need like two or three sprays um, I don't know if you guys saw, but it was just like, <laughs> it was very powerful, but it did dry down, um, no issues or anything like that. Um, so yeah, first impressions, a lot of the stuff was thumbs up, didn't really have any thumbs down besides the concealer. I'll keep testing it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready first impressions video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!